Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or ORCOR, is a theory at the crossroads of quantum mechanics and neuroscience, proposed by physicist Sir Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Dr. Stuart Hameroff. It suggests that consciousness may originate from quantum-level processes occurring within the microtubules of neurons. Microtubules are tiny protein structures found in neurons, and according to ORCOR, Quantum events within these structures are fundamental to our conscious experiences. These events involve the transformation of quantum superpositions into specific observable states through a phenomenon called objective reduction. Howdy, I'm just some random nude dude sitting in my closet talking to myself. It's also where I celebrate the power of free thinking and encourage bold ideas. As a society, we're often afraid to challenge the norms and think outside the box. But here, I embrace the unconventional. So sit back, relax, and join me on this journey of exploration, where we embrace our inner nude dude and push boundaries to discover new perspectives. Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or ORCOR, is a theory that ventures into the profound questions surrounding the origins of consciousness. Developed by Penrose and Hameroff, ORCOR proposes a unique perspective by bridging the worlds of quantum mechanics and neuroscience. At the heart of ORCOR lies the idea that quantum processes within the microtubules of neurons are pivotal to the emergence of conscious experiences. Microtubules are tiny protein structures found within neurons, and they serve as the proposed stage for quantum level events. These events are marked by the transformation of quantum superpositions in the specific observable states, facilitated by a phenomenon known as objective reduction. Quantum superpositions are states in which particles can exist in multiple positions or states simultaneously, as dictated by the principles of quantum mechanics. ORCOR suggests that these superpositions exist not just at the subatomic level, as commonly understood, but also within the microtubules of neurons. The theory posits that these superpositions are responsible for the indeterminacy and complexity that underlie conscious experience. Objective reduction is the central concept in ORCOR. It involves the abrupt transition of quantum superpositions into definite states. This process is theorized to be non-computable and to occur when a specific threshold of mass time is reached within the microtubules. According to ORCOR, this process is what gives rise to conscious moments and ultimately our subjective experiences. ORCOR challenges traditional materialist views which suggests that consciousness emerges solely from the interactions of neurons and synapses. Instead, it posits that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, with quantum processes serving as the building blocks of our subjective awareness. The theory proposes that quantum coherence within microtubules may provide a unique mechanism for the brain to process and integrate sensory information in a holistic and nonlinear way. This idea ties into the temporal binding problem, suggesting that quantum level events may be the key to the brain's ability to synchronize and bind sensory inputs in a coherent manner. It's important to emphasize that ORCOR is a highly debated theory and not all scientists accept its premise. The lack of concrete experimental evidence to support its claims remains a significant point of contention. Nevertheless, ORCOR has sparked interdisciplinary discussions and research into the interface between quantum physics and neuroscience, offering an intriguing perspective on the enigma of consciousness. Orchestrated Objective Reduction presents a novel perspective on consciousness by linking quantum mechanics to the brain's microtubules. It challenges conventional materialist views and suggests that the mysteries of consciousness might be intimately tied to quantum-level phenomena within the neural architecture. While ORCOR remains controversial and debated, it continues to inspire exploration at the intersection of quantum physics and neuroscience, 
contributing to ongoing discussions about the fundamental nature of our conscious experiences. The history of orchestrated objective reduction is a fascinating journey that spans several decades and involves notable contributions from physicists, anesthesiologists, and cognitive scientists. Here's an in-depth exploration of its historical development. ORCOR's roots can be traced back to the 1980s, when Roger Penrose, a renowned physicist known for his work on black holes and the theory of relativity, began to explore the relationship between consciousness and quantum mechanics. Penrose's interest in understanding the human mind led him to ponder the possibility of quantum effects playing a role in consciousness. Orco R truly took shape when Penrose collaborated with Dr. Stuart Hameroff, an anesthesiologist and professor of anesthesiology and psychology. Their collaboration bridged the gap between theoretical physics and neuroscience. Hameroff, with his expertise in the brain's microtubules and anesthesiology, brought practical knowledge to Penrose's theoretical ideas. A pivotal aspect of ORCOR is the proposal that quantum events occur within the microtubules of neurons. This concept emerged from the integration of Penrose's insights into the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics, with Hameroff's understanding of microtubules' roles in cellular processes. Orko R. introduced the idea of objective reduction as a crucial component of consciousness. According to this theory, quantum superpositions within microtubules are non-computably reduced to specific states when a critical mass-time threshold is reached. This process is theorized to be responsible for conscious moments. Orko R. challenged the prevailing materialist view that consciousness emerges solely from neural interactions and physical processes in the brain. Penrose and Hameroff proposed that consciousness has a fundamental connection to the universe's quantum properties, suggesting a non-reductionist perspective. Orko R's introduction sparked debates and controversies in the scientific community. Its radical departure from conventional neuroscience and materialism led to critical scrutiny with many experts seeking empirical evidence to support its claims. Over the years, Orco R has encouraged interdisciplinary exploration and collaboration. It has brought together experts from physics, neuroscience, psychology, and philosophy, fostering discussions at the interface of quantum mechanics and consciousness studies. Orco R continues to evolve and adapt as researchers explore new avenues and refine its propositions. Ongoing research aims to provide empirical evidence and further refine the theory, seeking to answer some of the profound questions it poses. The history of orchestrated objective reduction is a testament to the fusion of diverse fields, including physics, neuroscience, and philosophy, in the pursuit of understanding the nature of consciousness. The theory's historical development has laid the foundation for ongoing exploration and debate, as scientists and thinkers grapple with its enigmatic relationship between quantum mechanics and the human mind. The perceptual delay, also known as the temporal binding problem, presents a challenging puzzle in neuroscience. It arises from the fact that sensory information reaches our brain at different times. For example, when you see an event and hear a related sound, these visual and auditory signals don't arrive at the brain simultaneously. This leads to the question of how your brain seamlessly combines these distinct sensory inputs into a unified perception of the event. This perceptual delay, often referred to as the temporal binding problem, is a complex puzzle that arises from the way sensory information is processed in our brains. It's a fundamental issue in neuroscience and it involves the synchronization and integration of sensory inputs arriving at different times. In our everyday experience, sensory information reaches our brain from various modalities, such as vision, hearing, touch, and more. These sensory inputs often do not arrive at the brain simultaneously. For example, when you witness an event or hear a related sound, the visual and auditory signals take different amounts of time to reach the brain due to differences in the speed of light and sound. 
The temporal binding problem challenges our understanding of how the brain manages to combine these distinct sensory inputs into a unified and coherent perception of the world. Despite the temporal discrepancies, we perceive these events as occurring simultaneously. For instance, when you see a ball bounce and hear the associated sound, your brain seamlessly integrates these two experiences, even though they are not temporally aligned. Scientists and researchers have proposed several hypotheses and mechanisms to address the temporal binding problem. One theory suggests that the brain relies on synchronized neural activity to align and integrate sensory information. Oscillations and rhythms in the brain may play a crucial role in binding sensory inputs in a temporally coherent manner. Attention is another mechanism that may contribute to the binding of sensory information. When we pay attention to specific features of an event, it can help align and merge sensory inputs related to those features. Higher level cognitive processes, such as memory and prediction, might also assist in creating a coherent perception of the world by filling in temporal gaps and smoothing out discrepancies. Researchers have conducted experiments to study the temporal binding problem. These experiments often involve tasks that require participants to report the simultaneity of sensory events. These studies provide insights into how the brain handles temporal disparities and the conditions under which it fails to do so. Orchestrated Objective Reduction, ORC-OR, offers a unique perspective on the temporal binding problem. According to this theory, quantum events within microtubules and neurons play a role in resolving this challenge. ORC-OR suggests that quantum level processes may be key to the brain's ability to synchronize and bind sensory information in a nonlinear, interconnected manner, thus creating a coherent perception of the world. This temporal binding problem is a profound puzzle in neuroscience that challenges our understanding of how the brain creates a unified perception of the world from temporally disparate sensory inputs. Researchers continue to explore this enigma through various approaches including investigations into neural synchronization, attention, and cognitive processing. ORC-OR adds an additional layer to this exploration by suggesting that quantum level events within the brain may also play a role in addressing this challenge, although this theory remains highly debated and controversial within the scientific community. ORC-OR offers a unique perspective on the temporal binding problem. ORC-OR posits that quantum events within microtubules could play a role in resolving the temporal binding challenge. These quantum processes involve the superposition and reduction of quantum information. The idea is that quantum coherence within microtubules may provide a mechanism for the brain to process and integrate sensory information in a nonlinear, interconnected manner. This could help the brain synchronize and bind sensory inputs, creating a coherent perception of the world. ORC-OR is a highly debated theory. Not all scientists accept the premise that quantum processes in the brain are the solution to the mysteries of consciousness and temporal binding. Alternative theories and ongoing research continue to explore this complex field. Orchestrated objective reduction presents a unique perspective on the temporal binding problem, offering a connection between quantum level processes and the brain's ability to create a unified perception of the world despite temporal disparities. ORC-OR proposes that quantum level events within microtubules, the tiny protean structures within neurons, may serve as the key to resolving the temporal binding problem. These quantum processes involve the transformation of quantum superpositions into specific observable states through objective reduction. Quantum superpositions, which exist in multiple states or positions simultaneously, are theorized to occur not only at the subatomic level, but also within the microtubules. This is crucial because it's within these superpositions that ORC-OR suggests the brain processes sensory information. The challenge of perceptual delay, where sensory inputs from different modalities arrive at varying times, is directly linked to how these superpositions are resolved. Objective reduction is a fundamental concept in ORC-OR. 
It proposes that quantum superpositions within microtubules are non-computably reduced to specific states when they reach a certain mass time threshold. This process, Orko R suggests, gives rise to conscious moments and, crucially, our subjective experiences. It's during this objective reduction that the brain synchronizes and integrates sensory inputs. The quantum coherence within microtubules is believed to provide a unique mechanism for the brain to process and integrate sensory information in the nonlinear, interconnected way. Rather than relying solely on linear sequential processing, quantum events could enable the brain to create a holistic and synchronous perception of the world, effectively addressing the temporal binding problem. It's essential to acknowledge the controversial nature of Orco R. Not all scientists and researchers accept the premise that quantum processes in the brain are the solution to the mysteries of consciousness and the temporal binding problem. The lack of empirical evidence supporting ORCOR is a point of contention in the scientific community. Orchestrated objective reduction offers a provocative perspective on the relationship between quantum mechanics and consciousness, particularly in addressing the temporal binding problem. The theory suggests that quantum-level events within the brain's microtubules may provide a mechanism for the brain to process and bind sensory information in a nonlinear, interconnected manner, creating a coherent perception of the world despite temporal disparities. However, it's important to recognize that Orco R remains a highly debated and controversial theory, and the nature of consciousness and the temporal binding problem continue to be subjects of ongoing research and exploration. Orco R raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics. This challenges conventional materialist views of the mind and sparks extensive debate among scientists, philosophers, and theorists. Orchestrated objective reduction ventures into the complex and enigmatic realm of the relationship between quantum mechanics and consciousness. This exploration raises fundamental questions about the very essence of our conscious experiences. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that describes the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. It introduces concepts such as superposition, where particles can exist in multiple states or positions simultaneously, and entanglement, where particles can become correlated in ways that defy classical intuitions. The nature of consciousness is one of the most profound and perplexing questions in both philosophy and science. Orco R proposes a perspective that challenges conventional materialist views, which suggests that consciousness emerges solely from the interactions of neurons and synapses. Instead, Orco R suggests that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe. Orco R's unique proposition is that quantum processes, specifically within the microtubules of neurons, may be the building blocks of consciousness. These quantum processes, Orco R argues, give rise to the phenomena of subjective awareness and conscious experiences. The theory posits that the complexity and interdeterminacy of quantum events are essential elements of our conscious perception. Orco R's assertion challenges established paradigms in neuroscience and philosophy, which often emphasize the classical, deterministic, and mechanistic nature of the brain. It introduces a radically different perspective that suggests the quantum realm plays a fundamental role in the emergence of our subjective realities. It's crucial to recognize that Orco R is highly controversial within the scientific community. The lack of concrete empirical evidence supporting the theory is a major point of contention. Critics argue that the connection between quantum effects at the macroscopic level and consciousness is speculative and unproven. Orco R highlights the need for interdisciplinary collaboration between quantum physicists, neuroscientists, cognitive scientists, and philosophers. It fosters discussion at the intersection of quantum physics and consciousness studies, challenging researchers to explore new avenues for understanding the mind. Orchestrated objective reduction presents a thought-provoking exploration at the interface between quantum mechanics and consciousness.
It challenges traditional materialist views and sparks ongoing debate about the fundamental nature of our conscious experiences. While OR remains controversial and speculative, it has encouraged a multidisciplinary approach to unraveling the mysteries of the mind, promising potential insights into the very essence of our existence and the role of quantum mechanics in shaping our conscious reality. Critics of ORCOR emphasize the importance of empirical evidence to support the claims. Some propose alternative theories that focus on neurosynchronization mechanisms, such as oscillations in neural networks, as explanations for our perception of time and the binding of sensory information. Orchestrated objective reduction is the theory that proposes a novel connection between quantum processes and consciousness. However, it's important to highlight the need for empirical evidence and the existence of alternative theories in this complex field. Scientific theories typically rely on empirical evidence to support their claims. ORCOR, as a theory, faces scrutiny due to the lack of concrete experimental data demonstrating the existence of quantum effects at the macroscopic level in the brain. The absence of such evidence is a significant point of contention among scientists. ORCOR's reliance on quantum effects in the brain presents challenges for experimental validation. Detecting quantum level events within the brain is an intricate task, given the delicate and ephemeral nature of these phenomena. Researchers have faced difficulties in designing experiments that could conclusively confirm or refute ORCOR's premises. In the quest to understand consciousness and its connection to the temporal binding problem, several alternative theories have been proposed. Some of these theories emphasize neural synchronization mechanisms, such as oscillations in neural networks, as the primary factors responsible for creating a coherent perception of the world. These alternative explanations offer different perspectives on the challenges posed by the temporal binding problem. Some alternative theories focus on the role of neural synchronization in creating coherent perception. They suggest that the brain's ability to synchronize neural activity and integrate information through oscillations and rhythms plays a central role in addressing the temporal binding problem. Another category of alternative theories involves higher level cognitive processes. These theories propose that memory, attention, and prediction mechanisms within the brain help fill in temporal gaps and align sensory input. While not necessarily rooted in quantum physics, they provide the explanations for the phenomena of perceptual coherence. The scientific community continues to explore the relationship between quantum mechanics, neuroscience, and consciousness. This exploration includes investigating ORCOR and its alternatives. Researchers conduct experiments, develop models, and engage in interdisciplinary discussions to gain a deeper understanding of the complex nature of consciousness. While orchestrated objective reduction introduces a compelling perception on consciousness, it faces the challenges of providing empirical evidence to support its claims. This lack of experimental validation led to debates within the scientific community. Additionally, alternative theories propose different explanations for the temporal binding problem, emphasizing neural synchronization mechanisms and cognitive processes. The pursuit of understanding the mysteries of consciousness remains an ongoing and dynamic field, with researchers striving to uncover the fundamental nature of the mind and its connection to the physical world. ORCOR underscores the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration between quantum physicists, neuroscientists, and cognitive scientists to explore the interface between quantum mechanics and neuroscience, shedding light on the mysteries of the mind. Orchestrated objective reduction encourages interdisciplinary collaboration, fostering a space where experts from diverse fields can come together to explore the interface between quantum mechanics and neuroscience. Here's why this collaborative approach is vital. ORCOR sits at the intersection of quantum physics and neuroscience, two fields that traditionally have not been closely linked. By encouraging collaboration, 
Orco R opens the door to discussions, debates, and research that bridge these domains, offering a fresh perspective on the nature of consciousness. Understanding the mysteries of consciousness requires insights from a variety of disciplines, including physics, biology, psychology, philosophy, and cognitive science. Each field brings a unique perspective, and interdisciplinary collaboration enables the integration of these diverse viewpoints. Collaborative efforts can challenge long-standing assumptions and paradigms. When experts from different backgrounds come together, they can critically examine their own field's conventional wisdom and seek innovative solutions by considering alternative viewpoints. Interdisciplinary collaboration encourages the development of innovative approaches and methodologies. Researchers can combine tools and techniques from various disciplines to design experiments, models, and studies that provide new insights into consciousness and the temporal binding problem. The nature of consciousness is a complex and multifaceted topic. Interdisciplinary teams are better equipped to address this complexity as they can draw upon a wide range of knowledge and expertise to tackle intricate questions related to Orco R and its alternatives. Collaboration is crucial not only for theoretical exploration, but also for experimental investigations. Orco R and its alternatives benefit from empirical validation, and this often requires the expertise of experimentalists from different fields to design and conduct experiments that can test these theories. Orco R also raises philosophical and ethical questions about the nature of consciousness. These issues necessitate input from philosophers and ethicists who can provide critical perspectives on the implications of Orco R and related theories. Interdisciplinary collaboration encourages ongoing debate and research in this complex area. Orco R is one of the many theories exploring the nature of consciousness, and collaboration ensures that the debate continues, stimulating new ideas and discoveries. Interdisciplinary collaboration is essential for advancing our understanding of the relationship between quantum mechanics and consciousness. Orchestrated objective reduction serves as a catalyst for bringing experts from diverse fields together fostering discussions, debates, and research that explore the mysteries of consciousness, the temporal binding problem, and the potential role of quantum processes in the brain. This collaborative approach promises to shed light on some of the most profound questions about the human mind and the nature of our subjective experiences. Orchestrated objective reduction challenges not only the scientific understanding of consciousness, but also the philosophical and ethical dimensions of our perception of reality. Here we'll explore the profound implications in these areas. Orco R forces us to reevaluate our conception of consciousness. It suggests that consciousness may not be a mere byproduct of neural interactions, but a fundamental aspect of the universe. This idea challenges traditional materialism and offers a more holistic perspective on the nature of the self and conscious experiences. The theory posits that quantum processes within the brain are intimately linked to our subjective experiences. This raises questions about how our understanding of the quantum realm might influence our perception of reality. Orco R suggests that the quantum nature of the universe is not abstract, but directly relevant to our conscious awareness. Orco R's quantum-based view of consciousness raises questions about the nature of free will. If consciousness is entangled with quantum phenomena, it implies a level of unpredictability and non-determinism. This notion has implications for our beliefs about human agency and decision-making. The ethical implications of Orco R are multifaceted. It prompts ethical questions related to consciousness and the potential moral standing of beings with consciousness. If consciousness is more fundamental than previously believed, it could influence how we perceive and treat conscious entities, including animals and potentially even artificial intelligences. 
Orc OR sparks discussions about the potential for consciousness in artificial intelligences. If quantum processes are integral to consciousness, it opens the possibility that advanced AI systems could exhibit consciousness. This has ethical and philosophical implications of how we treat AI entities and what rights and considerations they might deserve. Orc OR amplifies the age-old mind-body problem. It raises questions about the relationship between the physical brain and conscious experiences. This philosophical dilemma remains at the heart of discussion surrounding Orc OR and the nature of consciousness. Orc OR underscores the interconnectedness of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. It highlights the necessity of interdisciplinary collaboration, as both fields grapple with the fundamental questions about the mind, consciousness, and the universe. Orc OR's proposals challenge our understanding of what constitutes reality. It invites us to explore the interconnectedness of quantum mechanics and conscious awareness, raising questions about the nature of existence and our place within the cosmos. Orchestrated objective reductions philosophical and ethical implications are profound and far-reaching. They prompt us to reevaluate the understanding of consciousness, free will, and the fundamental nature of reality. The theory challenges traditional paradigms, fostering interdisciplinary dialogues and encouraging contemplation of the profound questions that lie at the intersection of science, philosophy, and ethics. As we continue to explore the relationship between quantum mechanics and the human mind, these implications offer a rich field of philosophical and ethical inquiry. Orchestrated Objective Reduction, ORC OR, is a theory that has generated a substantial amount of debate and critique within the scientific community. Here are some of the key criticisms and counterarguments against ORC OR. One of the most significant critiques of ORC OR is the lack of concrete empirical evidence to support its claims. Critics argue that while the theory proposes a connection between quantum processes in the brain and consciousness, no experimental data directly confirm the existence of such quantum-level events within the brain. This absence of empirical validation is a substantial point of contention. Orc OR suggests that quantum effects can play a significant role in the brain's functioning, particularly in addressing the temporal binding problem. However, some physicists argue that quantum effects at the macroscopic scale, such as those proposed by Orc OR, are highly unlikely and challenging to demonstrate. Quantum phenomena are typically observed at the subatomic level and might not apply to the brain's macroscopic structures. Critics have raised concerns about the role of temperature and environmental decoherence in the brain, which could disrupt quantum coherence. Maintaining quantum states in a warm and noisy biological environment is a formidable challenge, and some argue that the brain's conditions are not conducive to sustaining the quantum processes proposed by Orc OR. The concept of microtubules as the site of quantum events is another point of contention. Some neuroscientists argue that microtubules may not be capable of sustaining the quantum processes suggested by Orc OR. Questions are raised about the feasibility of quantum effects in these structures and their relevance to consciousness. Several alternative explanations for the temporal binding problem and the nature of consciousness have been proposed. These alternatives focus on neural synchronization mechanisms, cognitive processing, and other factors that do not rely on quantum processes. Critics argue that these alternative theories provide more plausible and empirically supported explanations. The broader debate concerning the relationship between quantum mechanics and consciousness is relevant to Orc OR. Critics argue that Orc OR is just one theory among many, and the entire field remains speculative. The larger philosophical and scientific questions about the nature of consciousness are far from settled and ORC-OR is not universally accepted. 
Some critics contain that ORC OR lacks clear falsifiable predictions that can be tested experimentally. A scientific theory should be capable of making predictions that can be empirically validated or refuted, and some argue that ORC OR's propositions may be too vague or complex to subject to empirical testing. Orchestrated objective reduction is a highly debated theory in the scientific and philosophical community. While it offers a unique perspective on consciousness and the temporal binding problem, it faces significant critiques related to the lack of empirical evidence, the feasibility of quantum processes in the brain, and the existence of alternative explanations. The debate surrounding ORC OR highlights the complexity of the quest to understand the nature of consciousness and the ongoing exploration of this intriguing field. Orchestrated objective reduction is a thought-provoking theory, suggesting a connection between quantum processes and consciousness, particularly in addressing the temporal binding problem. While ORC OR is controversial and lacks empirical evidence, it has opened the door to exploration at the intersection of quantum physics and neuroscience. The mystery of consciousness remains a topic of deep fascination and ongoing research, offering the potential for new insights into the very nature of our existence. Research and exploration into the mysteries of consciousness, the role of quantum mechanics, and the temporal binding problem are dynamic and ongoing processes. Here's why the quest for understanding persists. The nature of consciousness remains one of the most profound and enduring questions in science and philosophy. Orchestrated objective reduction is just one of the many theories attempting to tackle this issue, and it has not provided conclusive answers. As long as fundamental questions about the mind persist, the quest to answer them will continue. ORC OR is not the only theory addressing consciousness and the temporal binding problem. Multiple alternative theories and hypotheses exist, each proposing its own unique approach. This diversity of perspectives stimulates ongoing investigation and debate. Advances in technology and experimental methods continually open new avenues for research. Brain imaging techniques, neurophysiological monitoring, and quantum-level measurements have evolved over time, allowing researchers to explore these topics with increasing precision and depth. The interdisciplinary nature of research in this field fosters ongoing exploration. Collaboration between experts in quantum physics, neuroscience, psychology, philosophy, and other disciplines ensures that the debate is dynamic and enriched by diverse viewpoints. The implications of understanding consciousness reach far beyond the realm of science. Ethical and philosophical questions arise concerning the nature of self, free will, and the implications of ORC OR and similar theories. These considerations fuel continued investigation and contemplation. ORC OR's attempt to bridge quantum mechanics and neuroscience is a relatively new endeavor. As researchers delve further into this uncharted territory, they are likely to uncover new insights and connections, paving the way for further research. The understanding of quantum effects at the macroscopic level, such as those proposed by ORC OR, remains a cutting edge area of study. Researchers are exploring the feasibility and relevance of these effects in the brain and consciousness, with the potential to uncover groundbreaking discoveries. Experimentalists continue to design and conduct studies that aim to test the premises of ORC OR and related theories. The quest for empirical validation is crucial, as it can provide tangible evidence to support or challenge these ideas. As the quest for understanding consciousness continues, there is an emphasis on educating and engaging the public. Outreach efforts aim to convey the complexity of these topics to a wider audience, fostering interest, discussion, and participation in the ongoing exploration of the human mind. The quest to unravel the mysteries of consciousness, the role of quantum mechanics, and the temporal binding problem is far from over. Orchestrated objective reduction is part of a larger, 
ever-evolving landscape of theories and research that collectively push the boundaries of human knowledge. The ongoing nature of this quest promises to provide insights into the fundamental nature of our consciousness, shedding light on the enigma of the mind and the intricate interplay between quantum mechanics and neuroscience. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative and thought-provoking. This is the point where others tell you, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. But we know that that kind of thing is for losers. Don't be a loser. And as always, I welcome your feedback and ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep embracing your inner nude, dude.